Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Your tax dollars at work, Balaclava Flood Mitigation Program. Whenever it rains in the Balaclava area, the business community within the town center is always nervous due to the high propensity for flooding. About two weeks ago, Councillor Caretaker James Mitchell and MP Delroy Slowly conducted a tour to better understand the situation. At the end, Mr. Slowly committed to do an intensive drain cleaning intervention as this has been noticeably missing for some time now to reduce such possibilities. I am very happy to share the good news. We are presently conducting a drain cleaning work in the Balaclava Town Center to ensure, as best as possible, for this rainy season, no flooding. I trust and pray this will do the job until I am able to do more for the long term, stated MP slowly. Bonnie Whaler sent off. Abijah Livingston delivers a tribute in song to his father, Neville O'Reilly Livingston, as yesterday's celebration of the life and legacy of a man known to Jamaica and around the world as Bonnie Whaler, or J.B., a member of the famous Whaling Whalers, which included Bob Marley and Peter Tush, both of whom predeceased him. The memorial service was held at Perry's Funeral Chapel in St. Catherine. Gully Damage Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie points out the damage to this gully beside the Horizon Adult Remand Center, which is in his Kingston Western constituency, to Matthew Samudo, Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of National Security, Louise Ferragon, Acting Superintendent at the Department of Correctional Services. The men were on a tour of correctional facilities and police stations in the constituency yesterday. Kidnap Mystery there has been deafening silence after the police following allegations that a taxi driver was kidnapped in St. Catherine on Tuesday and that a demand of 400000 has been made for his release. Sources stated early Tuesday morning that 36-year-old taxi operator, whose name is being withheld, left his mother's house in Linstead, St. Catherine and headed to Spanish Town where he operates. Hours later, his girlfriend received a call from someone on a cellular phone demanding the ransom. The matter was reported to the police and a team of investigators from the St. Catherine North Police Division, as well as a team from the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch of Jamaica Constabulary Force, went in search of the taxi operator. Police sources stated the investigators identified a red zone based on where the cellular call had been made to the taxi driver's girlfriend, but they failed to find him or his alleged kidnappers. Up to late yesterday, there was no official word from the police on the case, with one senior officer underscoring that the JCF does not comment on kidnappings. Calls made by reporters yesterday to the taxi operator's cellular phone number went straight to voicemail. Since the start of this year, there have been no reports of kidnapping listed among the major crime statistics produced by the JCF. Up to Thursday, the police had recorded 638 murders across the island since the start of the year, 14 more than the period last year. Shooting numbered 560, a slight decline from the 569 recorded over the same period last year. The police figures also showed a 44% decline in the number of reported rape cases and a 22% decline in robberies. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.